Tombstone, Arizona Territory. August 4, 1881. Okay, give me a I'll, I'll open the three. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Oh, you Everybody stand. All right, I'll take three. How many do you have here? Causing any trouble, Mr. Radcliffe? Curly Bill and his boys are always welcome here, Hollister. You starting something? Maybe. My deputy tells me you've been dragging your heels about paying taxes. Don't take your job too seriously. I'll send Charlie around again. Don't waste our time. Come on, Monk, pick up your cards. Nobody keeps Curly Bill waiting. Yeah, sure. I can see some Johnny Law trying to collect taxes from me. <laughs> oh, relax. You ain't got to kill every lawman you see. <laughs> An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened. In the town too tough to die. Stone Territory. August 6, 1881. Curly Bill Brocious, leader of the Gaileyville Outlaws, had been in town two days and nights gambling and celebrating. It was one of his periodic visits from which it always took Tombstone some time to recover. Come in here, and I'm sleepy. Well, good night. Uh, Curly, you better take your boys and get out of here. Otis, we appreciate their business. Yes, sir. Oh. I'll wait it for you. <laughs> We can't have any more of this. <laughs> Who's doing the shooting? Well, I only lit Otis a cigar. Yeah? <laughs> Nobody laughs at Curly Bill. You better give me your gun, Curly. My gun? And then you and your boys ride out of town. Give me your gun. Sure. Well, go ahead. Take it. I said take it. Take it, Charlie. Just you men put your guns on the table. Not me. I might just treat me as sheriff. Not today. Spread out, boys. One of us will get him.
One more move and the scattergun will open you up like a ripe watermelon. On the table! Go ahead, monk. Looks like a Mexican standoff. And if the shooting really starts, it'll look like the Alamo. Get them back when we leave town, don't we? We got neighbors up on the hills we don't exactly see eye to eye with. There's even rustlers up there. Send one of your men back to pick him up right now. Get him out of town. We're leaving. Well, Monk? Fancy tin horn, ain't you? All shining. Boots. Star. Good deeds. Someday I'm gonna dirty you up, mister. I thought I might have me a big story. Take the loads out of them, Charlie. Take them over to the office. Yes, sir. I won't send you bail for the chandelier. It's kind of torn up. You handled them very well. Of course, you didn't make any friends for yourself. Well, I wasn't exactly trying to. In fact, you made an enemy or two. It could make tax collecting up there a little dangerous. Up where? The outlying districts. Who's going up to Galeyville to collect from Curly Bill and the other rustlers? There's nobody up there to pay taxes, Mr. Ratcliffe. Just a bunch of outlaws never paid taxes in their lives. They try to collect taxes up there, a man could get himself killed. They're all part of our new county. Right, editor? Well, that's true. Then they should pay taxes the same as the rest of us do. They come in, shoot up the town, and we have to pay the bills. Mr. Ratcliffe, those rustlers don't hold title to their lands. Any of the lands their buildings sit on. They just moved in, took over, and you know it. I'm also a lawyer. There are different kinds of taxable property. They have personal property. Cattle, horses, guns. What are you after, Mr. Ratcliffe? You were appointed sheriff of the county. Do your job or resign. Mr. Clyburn, I guess I better have the epitaph from me up some more tax forms. Clay, don't be pushed into this. Their taxes will be collected. Just like yours will. See you later over at the office. Yes, sir. There's scarcely a man in Tombstone who'd blame you. You don't go up there. There's one. Exactly. He just wants to get you killed so he can get his old man appointed sheriff. You're being uncharitable. I think he'd rather I resigned. Well, either way, he wants to dip his hands into those tax collections. No argument there. How many men you taking? Take a lot of men, somebody's bound to get killed. What about you? Nobody's safe riding into Galeyville. You should be taking the Fort Huachuca Cavalry. Taking this. This old scattergun take the fight out of a lot of men at close quarters. You know, outlaws are a peculiar breed. Don't mind getting killed with a nice clean bullet, but they get real jumpy when they might get messed up with a shotgun. August 7, 1881. Clay Hollister rode out of Tombstone, alone, through the Dragoons to the rugged Chiricahuas, down the eastern slope to the San Pedro Valley, where Curly Bill Brocious held sway. August 8, 1881. He rode into the guns of Galeyville. Who is it? Well, it looks like we got ourselves a Johnny Law. I can see his star reflecting in the sun. Well, he must be lost. Yeah. 
is mine. Mr. Brocious? Mr. <laughs> I'm doing some assessment work for the county. We don't belong to no county. You're part of the new one set up by the territory. And we don't belong to no territory, nor no United States. You're a long way from home, mister. I know the feeling up here, Mr. Brochers. That's why I looked you up. You come looking for me alone? Taxes have never been collected up here. That's right. So I'm deputizing you. Me? To help me collect the taxes. Oh, that's the closest I ever been to a badge. Sick me on him, Curly. I want to stir up some shooting. I figured if I rode on alone, I might get held up and lose the money. I'll do it. Me, a deputy, collecting taxes. I figured you'd know who to assess. Why, I'll make every one of them rawhide rustlers pay up. Howie, put some Sabellian beans in a saddlebag. Somebody catch me a Cayuse. Come on, let's ride. What's the show of me going along? Oh, I don't need you this trip. Keep you from getting shot in your sleep. He won't shoot me, and I won't shoot him. Leastwise, not in Curly Bill country. Yeah, but you and me was going to Mexico for a herd. Oh, uh, a little cattle buying deal. You ramrod it, Monk. I got official business. Besides, who knows? We may collect more money in taxes than we've making a dozen cattle deals. I'll get you ten he kills Hollister. I hope he don't so I can have him. August 9, 1881. The lawman and the outlaw rode together to collect the taxes. Clay Hollister was taken to hideouts known only to Curly Bill Brocious. Oh, it's you, Bill. That's right, Lank. Well, I saw his star and... Well, what in thunder is this? This here's my pal from Tombstone assessing taxes. I'm his collecting deputy. Well, I ain't got nothing to pay no taxes on. I seed you drive a herd up Skeleton Canyon. You ain't gonna tell this lawman it was stole, are you? Well, of course not. Them cattle belong to me. Here's your tax bill, Mr. Strayhorn. According to Deputy Brocious Count. Well, none of us ain't never paid no taxes. Lank, I've been telling the sheriff that we're all nice, law-abiding citizens. Yeah, I know, but this says 200 head. All I drove off was 150. Then go steal some more. We can't be making out new tax bills. We got a lot of you short sports to cover. Look, we gotta build schools for the young'uns, Calvin. Well, you, you don't want them tiny types to grow up like us. Do you? Well, do you? No. Well, then get it. This place up on the hill, Bill. Oh, some old duffer runs a little store. Nothing worth taxing. <sighs> You may camp out in Mahala, over there. I want to go say hello. All right. Don't wait up for me. I, I may get the chinning. Mag, you're a corker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill, you're sweet. <laughs> Doors open. <clears throat> good evening. Well, good evening. I told you to make camp. I got lonely. I uh, thought you said some old duffer ran this place. Well, it used to. Uh, country's getting all womaned up. That's the trouble. Aren't you going to introduce me? Well, this is Mag Davis. Mag, this here's the sheriff I was telling you about, collecting taxes. Hello, Miss Davis. It's Mag. Not often we see your kind up here. Law, ma'am? No. 
Just your kind. I uh, saw your corral behind the store. About 20 head of horses? Oh, about 23. You own them? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I own them. But I'm no rustler, Sheriff. Cowboys just like to give me horses. Don't you, Bill? You can't tax my. She's just a hard-working gal trying to get along. Come on, let's go. How much do I owe? Oh, no thanks, man. I wouldn't amount to anything. Well, in that case, I'll figure my own. Oh, hold, hold on. That's enough. You ready, Bill? Waiting on you. Good night, Bill. Drop in again. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Hollister. Yes, Miss Davis? Good night. Hollister. We ain't paying no taxes to nobody. I never thought I'd have to hit a McLowry. Give me my gun. No, we're after money, not killing. Yeah. That's right. We're after money. Better move this money. Hey, I trust you. Uh, don't be too sure. I can be a mean cuss when the pot gets big. I believe it. Well, after all, I got a reputation to hold up. You said you wouldn't shoot me in my sleep. Yeah, that's what I said. About enough tax collecting? Yeah. Well, this about wraps it up. Yep. Yeah. If I can get it back to Tombstone. Oh, you might turn the trick. You're pretty smart for a lawman. <laughs> Not like your deputy back at the Crystal Palace. Hand me your gun, he says. He stands there and he says, Hand me your gun. Oh. Hand me your guns. One at a time. Hand it to me, butt down. Looks like another Mexican standoff. Yeah. You're all right, son. Real nervy. It's quite a compliment coming from you. But let me warn you, don't tangle with Monk. I may have to. Thanks, Bill. You made a fine deputy. Don't I get the key combined? Compliments to the county. You wish you'd never seen that badge, Curly. Everybody between here and Tombstone's laughing at you. Me? Right, Howie? Played for a sucker by that smart pistol. He's baiting you, Bill. Nobody laughs at Curly Bill. Nobody. They are, thanks to your friend. You got it all figured out, haven't you, Monk? Where's my boys? Between here and Tombstone. 
case the sheriff here tries to get off with the tax money. I'm going through. They'll really be laughing at you, Curly, if you let them get away with all that money. I'm still in Curly Bill country. He gave his word. You're crawling, Johnny Law. Did he make you pay taxes too, Curly? Me? I marked his taxes paid for services rendered. Now you're begging. No. Nope. Just trying to narrow it down, Monk. To you and me. Yeah. You two have been pawing the ground since the Crystal Palace. Go on. Lock horns. That's just the way I want it. I'm riding out, Monk. You'll never make it to your horse. Come on. I'm just itching to dent that shiny new badge. You wouldn't be aiming to blind me with that badge now, would you? Big Johnny Law. I've been waiting a long time for this. Trouble, Monk, you've been waiting too long. You're all tensed up. Don't make a mistake. I never have. What's that supposed to be? Just relaxing my trigger finger? Yes, darling. Go for your guns. Don't you know the relaxed muscles react a lot faster than tense ones, Monk? Quit talking, go for your guns. Don't you know, Monk, this is the way a piano player warms up his fingers so they'll go faster? Draw! Don't you try it, Monk? Make your move! Don't you ever play the piano, Monk? Lord. You tricked me. All that talk. Dirty Johnny Law trick. Tricks to stay alive. Throw the other one in the tank, Monk. Don't do anything foolish, I'll have to kill you. Soak it! Dirty Johnny Law. Some of the boys will thank you. Howie, come here. Was they really laughing at me? Nah. shouldn't make no promises. You heard anything, Charlie? Well, he's four days overdue. If he doesn't show up soon, we'll just have to wire Governor Fremont in Prescott and have him appoint another sheriff. Your man, Radcliffe? Well, he's a logical choice. We have to have someone to keep order. You holding a weight for somebody? Bill, let me help you. Count it, Johnny. Yes, sir. You run into trouble? Yeah. Monk's dead, and coming through the mountains to Curly Bill's boy showed a keen interest in the tax money. I want you to know that I'm, well, I'm glad to see you back. I knew you would be. You collected all that? Well, I had some help. How about some dinner? On me. All right. But the county's gonna buy me a barbershop bath. Write me an expense account, Charlie, one dollar. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, Mr. Radcliffe, you better pay your taxes. Whistle me up a memory, whistle me back where I want to be, whistle a tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory. A 
If your past has run afoul of the law, it's a handy place to be. Cause your future's just as good as your draw in tombstone territory. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I want to be. Whistle a tune that'll carry me to tombstone territory. 